Welcome back. The number one hacker in America is not human. It's AI. XBOW, an AI-powered penetration testing platform, is outranking every human hacker for the first time ever. The company raised $75 million in fresh Series B funding, rewriting the rules of cybersecurity, delivering human-level testing at machine speed. Joining me now is the man making it all possible and behind this company, XBOW founder and CEO, Uzer Demore. Uzer, great to have you. Thank you so much for being here. First, assess the backdrop for us. How often does, for example, a bank or a financial services company see attempts at hacking, attempts at breaking their cybersecurity? Those attempts happen. Thank you very much for having me. Those attempts happen all the time, continuously. And uh, uh, the very best way to defend against such attacks is to invite an expert to come and uh, uh, simulate attacks, uh, report all the vulnerabilities they find uh, so that they can be fixed before the bad guys uh, find these flaws and breach your systems. Well, this is incredible that XBOW has topped the U.S. leaderboard for finding cyber threats. Tell me how the machine works. How is it that your company has been able to uh, find the holes in corporate cyber security? So, uh, it's, uh, as you say, it's a fully autonomous AI system that does the same work as the ethical hackers that I talked about before. Um, HackerOne is a platform for connecting such ethical hackers to companies that wish their systems to be tested. And we entered uh, our AI, our system, as a uh, competitor on that platform. Within a few weeks, it became the number one in uh, the United States. But two weeks ago, it even became number one in the world. And it's finding flaws at, uh, uh, at famous companies like Ford, Mondelez, Pfizer, Salesforce, and Palo Alto Networks. In fact, uh, uh, Palo Alto Networks is a nice example because it's such a well secured company. And yet, uh, the AI was able to find a uh, security flaw in one of their components. We reported it, and they fixed it. They fixed it by uh, uh, putting a pattern in their uh, defenses, in their firewall. That's amazing. And then when we checked it again, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the AI was able to find a bypass for, uh, uh, for the fix. So these AIs are pretty clever. They're sneaky. Yeah, sure are. So, so what has been, from your experience, the most frequent holes or the most frequent vulnerabilities that you find in, in corporations? Well, fortunately, uh, the most frequent, the, the, the vulnerabilities that you most frequently find are not uh, that serious. An example would be uh, uh, so-called cross-site scripting. Uh, it can uh, cause, uh, it can cause the, uh, 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 the attacker to steal credentials, API keys, that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, fortunately, it's quite easy to uh, mitigate. However, the AI also finds extremely serious vulnerabilities like remote code execution, which allows you to run arbitrary software on the uh, target, uh, uh, target system, uh, which uh, leads to a complete uh, compromise. Unbelievable. I would imagine, Uzer, that this is one of the most important spends for companies to protect their data. Absolutely. It's uh, extremely important. And of course, because of the rise of AI, uh, what we're going to see is that cybersecurity speeds up more and more. In fact, uh, just as one example of that, the time between uh, a, uh, a, a security flaw being reported and it being exploited in the wild uh, has gone from about 63 days in 2019 to just a few days last year, and uh, this year we're seeing examples where it just takes minutes. Wow. Clearly, this that... is a consequence of the use of AI by, uh, the, the, by the bad guys. So AI, actually, while it can be very successful at many things, can also bring on vulnerabilities. It, it can, uh, like, like, like in any other human endeavor, AI acts like a power suit uh, for, uh, uh, in this case, both for defenders and for attackers. And so it's very important that the defenders uh, fight fire with fire, uh, make sure that they use AI 
to secure those systems before the bad guys get there. I love it. So you've been backed by Sequoia and Altimeter. You've uh, had a latest funding round bringing in $117 million. What are your plans for that money in terms of uh, growing this company? So uh, until earlier this year, until we started uh, proving that this technology works uh, on the hacker uh, leaderboard, uh, we, uh, uh, there was a question whether this is at all possible. It seemed uh, science fiction. Now that we've proven that the technology works, it's extremely important to rush it to market uh, precisely for the reasons that I just, uh, uh, that I just explained. And uh, so we are heavily investing in uh, both uh, the, uh, making the product enterprise ready as well as making it, uh, uh, make it uh, as, as growing the go-to-market team uh, to match the uh, excellent quality of our technical, uh, uh, technical stuff. Uzer, I know you're just back from a security conference in Las Vegas. What did you learn there? What is corporate America saying about the risks around AI right now? This is the topic. Uh, this was the topic of discussion at Black Hat. Uh, Black Hat is the main conference on cybersecurity, which is held every year in Vegas. Um, everyone sees this uh, sees this coming, and even in our own uh, if our in our own work, we've seen enormous acceleration when we first unleashed our system on the uh, Hacker One leaderboard. Uh, this was back in at the end of March. The average success percentage, when we know there is a vulnerability and whether it finds it, was about 25%. Today, it's up to 84%. So in four months, the quality of the AI went from 25% to 84% efficacy. Um, uh, this is only going to accelerate, and so uh, this is at the forefront of everybody's mind in cybersecurity. Uh, are there areas of AI, Uzer, that you can identify for us that are the biggest areas that you want to look at, uh, the, the most vulnerable. As you work to strengthen cybersecurity defenses in AI um, and, and corporate America is spending more and more money on AI, where specifically do you see the vulnerabilities? So uh, just to be clear, the vulnerabilities are not in the AI itself. The AI is being used to find the vulnerabilities in, in general systems everywhere, whether they are in the AI components or, uh, or not. Um, I think that the, uh, the biggest, uh, uh, I, I see the biggest advantage, uh, advantages coming from the, uh, the new reasoning capabilities of these models. Uh, clearly, uh, the type of work that a hacker does it involves a lot of logical reasoning, and uh, the reasoning models are going to give a huge lift. That is wonderful. Uh, Expo uh, company has been really integral in finding uh, the holes and, and vulnerabilities. Are you expecting to take Expo public at some point, Usher? Uh, absolutely. There is such an enormous need for that, so, so, much, uh, uh, so much interest. So uh, that is definitely our goal within a couple of years. All right. We'll be watching the success. Uzer, great to have you this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for having me. Uzer Demore is the founder and CEO of Expo. Keep a watch on that company.